Uh, Speaker Boehner reports that Saudi Arabia has launched airstrikes against Yemen. There seems to be a proxy war developing in the Middle East between Iran and, and Shiites and Saudi Arabia now and Sunnis. Uh, how concerned are you and what role should the U.S. play in this ongoing conflict? Uh, the world is starving for American leadership. Uh, but America has uh, an anti-war president. We have no strategy, overarching strategy, uh, to de deal with the growing terrorist threat. And it's not just ISIS or al-Qaeda uh, and all of their affiliates. Uh, we've got a serious problem facing the world, and America, by and large, is sitting on the sidelines. And uh, uh, I applaud uh, the, the Saudis uh, for taking this action uh, to protect their homeland and to protect uh, their own neighborhood. Mr. Speaker, that said, though, and you said that America is starving for leadership and we have an anti-American president. There, we haven't seen yeah, anti-war president. Thank you. Uh, we haven't seen any distinct movement yet on the possibility of an AUMF. There's a lot of people here who don't think that could be done. Uh, you know, where, you know, how can you, you know, put that blame on the president when there's not exactly an appetite here for involvement uh, on that issue and, uh, and, and any sort of larger issue? I think the biggest problem with the authorization of the use of military force, the request that came from the president, is the president is asking us to give him less authority than he has today under prior authorizations. Uh, where's the robust strategy to take on the terrorist threat? And if there's a robust strategy, then we can have a robust authorization uh, that will allow the president to use the tools uh, at his command to actually go out and fight and win this war. And do you think, though, that, that uh, based on what we've had with <coughs> Saudi Arabia and Yemen, that that should be part of this conversation? If America leads, <coughs> our allies in the region uh, would be tickled to death and would uh, be happy to join a coalition. But America has to lead.